Who are you? Riggs, homicide. Yes, sir. He's right over there okay. in the air. Merry Christmas. <gasps> leave me alone! Please leave me alone! Leave me alone! Why are you doing this? None of your goddamn business! Fair enough. Um, look, I'm I'm just gonna come out there, okay? Oh, no, 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 you! You touch me, I'm gonna jump! Look, oh, uh, stay there! Take you it easy! Come on, I'm jumping! For Christ's sake, take it easy! I don't like this any better than you do. I'm scared too, okay? Can't stand right. I mean, getting this far up just makes me dizzy, all right? Give me a chance to calm down. I just want to talk to you, okay? I just want to talk. I'm just gonna stand out here on the ledge with you. No, don't go not out on the ledge. Uh, you know, you're you're not the first guy to think of this, you know? Uh, a lot of people have got problems, especially during the silly season like now. You know shit! No, you're wrong, pal, you're wrong. You don't know nothing! Don't touch me! Take it easy! Look, I didn't do anything wrong! I know that. It's not like you're murdering anyone or anything. That's right. That's right. Same way I look at it. Same way I look at it. That's right. I know you're hurt and I get it. Okay now. Come on. But don't don't come near me. Come on, give me a break, will you guy? My boss is down there and he's watching me, so you know, I gotta make it look at least like I'm trying to save you, okay? Come on. It's, I'm just gonna stand here and talk to you. That's all. You won't you won't try nothing? No, no, I, I, I'm square with you. I, I won't try a thing. I won't try a damn thing. You think I want to fall off? I promise. I'll just talk to you. Okay. Okay, all right. Here, you want a, want a cigarette? Come on, let's smoke, okay? Yeah. Go on, take it. Yeah. We're going to take our time and both die of cancer. You leave without me. Oh no. What are you doing? See this key? Bye bye. You're crazy! Now you can jump if you want to, but you'll be taking me with you, and that makes you a murderer. Okay? Come on, let's go you back. You bastard! Yeah, you'll be killing a cop. Now, yeah, I'll be son. killing a psycho nut! Cop. Yeah, a psycho, but I'm still a cop. You coming in? Come on, I'm going in. Fuck you! I'm jumping! Do you really want to jump? Do you want to? Well, then that's fine with me. Come on. Let's do it, asshole. Let's Wait do it. What? I want to do, do it. Patient? I want to do it. What do you mean? If you're going to do a radio show with a visual element, you're going to want this guy. One of our favorites. One of our favorite, Actually, one of our, not just our station favorites, but one of our studio favorites going way back to the early days of Warner Brothers. Um, you were there, I think, even before I was there, right? I started in 2000. How long? You were there. Wait, when, when did you start at Warner Brothers? It's Mark Marshall, by the way. Uh, I was there in, uh, starting in 1990 at Dick Donner's office. Yeah. No, you know what? Okay. So I loved his office, by the way. It was right next to Silver Pitchers. Yeah. And you worked with Donner, right? Did you first work with him or did you first meet him on Superman? Was that where you started? No, I actually met him on Goonies when I was working at Amblin. Okay. And uh, and uh, Dick came to do casting and uh, met him there and ended up running films for him at night uh, at his home while I was working at Amblin during the day. Can we can we talk Donner for a moment? Because I really sure. I did not know him. You worked with him. I did not know him, but in passing, he was a fun guy. He was he was so unique. Um, yeah. larger than life. Um so very generous. Um uh, you know, he had a he had kind of a, a, a blustery ex exterior, you know, and had a booming voice, which I'm sure you've heard. That, that he used to great advantage, but he was such a, a teddy bear, um, uh, did so much for so many people, loved to put his staff and his friends in his movies. Um, you know, his uh, his job was people. Um, 
not you know secondary was making movies so you talk, take me through the first meeting with donner for the goonies right now you you were already spielberg's assistant right yes and you'd been his assistant since when like when did that timeline start uh, i started in january of 84 so i when i met dick i had been steven's assistant for about eight months okay so dick donner shows up one day at amblin amblin by yes. the way we should point out, Mark, you're in another state right now doing some secret production stuff, but Amblin's only a few hundred <laughs> yards from our office on the Universal Backlot. I know, and it's uh, it's changed greatly over the years. Right. So you're there, and Dick Donner shows up. And Stephen introduces me to him, and mm. I, I told him that he was the man responsible for my nightmares. And Because had, of? Well, he directed probably what I consider to be the greatest Twilight Zone episode ever done, which was yeah. um, Nightmare at 20,000 Feet. You know, William Shatner and the Gremlin um, on the wing of the plane. And I saw that when I was eight years old. And from that point on till today, as a matter of fact, I can't sleep, you know, with open curtains or open blinds. I have to have everything closed. Just because of that image of William Shatner throwing open the curtain on the plane and that Gremlin staring at him. Uh, that has been seared in my mind. I cannot believe they didn't do Priceline themed commercials framed around that episode. <laughs> Don't you think it'd be hilarious with like him in the seat? And but there's like scary price hikes outside in the port. And you know, it's it's that episode is one of my favorites. It works for me up until the reveal of the guy against the glass. But I know what you're talking about. So you did you ask him about that Twilight Zone episode? No, I just that's all I told him. I said you're responsible for my nightmares, and he. He, when I explained, he got the biggest kick out of that. Yeah. And I think that kind of uh, put me on his radar a little bit. I mean, um, but he was just, a, he was such a generous man that, that um, uh, he, he welcomed everybody. Your road to redemption is paved with tombstones. No quarter, kill all masters. Go to no quarter, killallmasters.com. Read it or.